Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm outside the Lions of Bledlow. This is a pub in the beautiful Buckinghamshire village of Bledlow. Now I've been told this used to be two pubs, because as you can see there's a front door there and a front door there. One was called the Black Lion and one was called the Red Lion. And they merged and became one pub, so the Lions of Bledlow. I'm not sure how true that is, but if that's true, then that's a great story. Um, and I have been in there, I've had a pint in there. It's um, a lovely pub as is the village. So what I'm going to do today, we're going to go for a walk through the village and um, there's something quite spectacular I have discovered at the other end of the village. So um, we're going to walk up there but first we're going to walk through the village. Now I have something I'd like to say to all of my viewers and that is thank you very much. I have made it to 2,000 subscribers so I'm really um, grateful to all of you who have subscribed. Really really appreciate it so thank you very much. Um, the fact that you've subscribed to me, it helps me. I can go out, I can make more videos. And if you haven't subscribed, um, please do, because the more subscribers I get, you know, there's chances are I get possibly invited to places as I have in the past. People say, oh, we've seen your videos, we'd like you to come and um, make a video. So, you know, please do subscribe. Um, it's, if you haven't already, um, I really appreciate it. And for all of you who have subscribed, you know, just again, thank you very much. Um, perhaps invite your friends to subscribe as well. Um, the more subscribers I make, the more videos I make. So, yeah, thank you very much. Anyway, we're now walking through the oldest part of the village of Bledlow. If you think it looks like I'm walking through a scene out of Midsummer Murders, that's because I am. This village has featured quite a few times in with some murders, it's um, you know one of your lovely Chiltern Hills villages. Um, quite a small place. Um, nearest town be Princes Ridge. We're in that direction. That way over the border in Oxfordshire, you've got Chinner. Of course, running between the two towns is the Chinner and Princes Ridge Railway. There was a halt here called Bledlow Bridge Halt. I'm not going to show you that today because there's not a lot um, you can actually see without travelling on the train. But what I will do at some point in the future, I'll do a video on Chinner Prince Ridge Railway and um, their former stations. Perhaps we'll even go to Watlington and try and find the old station. So but the railway runs just down there. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go and see the Holy Trinity Church. We're not going inside, um, it's not open today, but after we've passed the church, is um, this really exciting place that I would like to show you. So here's the Holy Trinity Church. This church has definitely been on Midsummer Murders um, in quite a few episodes. I have a feeling, I'm not 100% sure, but there was one Midsummer Murders where the vicar turned out to be the murderer and at the end when he was found out he ran up the tower and jumped off. I think it was this church but I'm not entirely sure so if you um, know and would like to confirm that um, please do comment and tell me or if you want to tell me it's another church somewhere else tell me and maybe I'll go to that village and um, make a video so that's the Holy Trinity Church now the place I'm taking you to see over there you can just see some houses beyond the trees it's before that it's down down in the hole um, it's a big what appears to be like a big chasm in the middle of the village and um, down in that chasm is somewhere quite quite a nice place so let's continue I'll let, we'll have a look down into the chasm then we're going to work our way down so let's um, get another view of the beautiful church so here we've got a public footpath which runs down to the main road and it goes across the Chimpanzee Ridge Railway. Well, I'm probably going to go when I finish this video and maybe see a train. Um, but it's this place here, have a look down there. You can see a lake or a pond with a very, very exciting looking boardwalk. And it's just one of those places you look at and think, you cannot possibly not go down there and have a look. So we're going to leave the church behind, just give you an idea, see how the church is so close to the edge of this hole. So the place I'm going to go to is down there, it's called Lyde Garden. It's the source of the River Lyde, which um, is, I would have thought it's a chalk stream. It's a river, a small river, flows out, eventually joins the River Tame, and then the River Tame eventually joins the River Thames. We have done in the past, when the one chalk stream we followed from source 
to confluence was the River Misbourne um, over on the other side of Buckinghamshire. We did that last summer. Um, I'm not going to necessarily do the whole of the River Lyde, but we can certainly go and have a look at the source. So it's behind this fence here. So just up here there's a gate. It's called the Lyde Garden. It is free to visit. Um, and it looks beautiful at all times of year, but I've deliberately come here today. Uh, well, partly because I'm watching tra trains on Chimbridge Ridge Railway, and partly because um, there's not too many other people here, so it makes it quite easy to film. So as we come in through the gate, what they have done, um, because of the pandemic and social distancing, is a one-way system, so it says no entry. So we won't go down there, we'll come up there at the end. There's a church over there. So we're going to go, as it clearly says, one way. So let's follow this one way and see where we go. It says also stay two metres apart from our visitors. I don't think I'm going to need to worry about that too much. So I'm just going to let the camera roll and I'll point out a few things as we go. So we're kind of coming down now into the, um, into the garden. You can just see that pagoda. We'll finish up down there. That is the actual source of the river lies. We are walking, you know, walk along the edge of, along this side. And um, I want to try and find that boardwalk I showed you. Um, so, which I can see on the other side. So there's a path there which is closed. So we won't go down that one, but it doesn't matter because you know we can still see the whole of the garden. Some really nice box hedging here. And that's where we were a moment ago, up there by the church. So that's the boardwalk. So to me, this is possibly one of the most attractive sources of a river I've ever seen. I've never really seen one quite like this. Um, this garden, it does in a way, although it's not really anything like it, it does remind me of the plantation garden in Norwich, um, which I did a video out a few years ago. Um, have a look at link on screen now. It's not really like it, but, well, it's a garden in a kind of chasm in a bit of an unexpected area, so that's the similarity to actually look at I wouldn't say they're the same. So we get to here, this is where the boardwalk starts, so we'll do that in a minute. Um, let's just start this path here. Um, I can have a look across the view over the river. And you can hear the very relaxing sound of water. We've got a weir there. And um, again, oh, is it up there, yeah, that's the church where we were a moment ago. So let's go along here. We'll follow the path right the way around and um, round the edge of the river lies. So as we come onto this bridge here, this is the beginning of the boardwalk section. There's two um, not real herons there, so the river continues out that way. Must go down, it must go for a culvert underneath the Chirin Prince River Railway. The footpath that I was talking about runs along the top there. So if you ever come here and it's closed, you still do get quite a nice view into the garden from the footpath. So that's worth having a look at. And here, this is one of my favourite views of the garden. I'm just going to let you have a look at that for a few seconds. You can hear the relaxing sound of the water. And it's very clear, the water as well. I don't know if you can see, you can just see the reflection of the trees above. But I just like how the weeping willow comes over the garden, obviously it's not got its leaves because it's winter, it just all looks very attractive. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go up these steps up here and follow the board walk around. So yeah, I think this is... Um, really one of the, the nicest views you can get here in the garden. It appears to be like another spring, you can't see exactly where it's coming from, but looking down there beneath the leaves I can certainly hear it, I can hear water trickling down under there and joining the main River Lide. This must be the first conference, and if you count that as the main stream of the River Lide, it is like its first tributary. Very, very short tributary. That tree there, that really tall one, I believe that's a swamp cypress there, type of tree that grows in, well, basically, disconditions. Um, 
very wet, um, damp conditions is the perfect place for a swamp cypress. Um, oh, there's two more of them there, yeah. Those two, they're swamp cypresses. And of course, um, weeping willows also grow very well. They thrive in this um, condition. I wonder what that plant there is. It, it's, um, it's obviously, it might be, I'm not gonna try and guess, um, but it's obviously covered up because of the frost, I would have thought. And there's one more there. Oh, as I said about the first confluence, in the river lie there's actually another one here so perhaps there's two more i mean yes it's all part of the main source so i'm sort of um sort of it's a bit of a joke really to say it's the first conference really all of this is is the source but if you like to call that the main river then you could call this a conference so we've got a stream coming down here we appear to have well two more coming down here and they flow out into the river And there again, there's a church up above us. So when I talk about the main course, I tend to consider this to be the main course of the River Lide, but I, I know they are all the source. So you've got those ones coming down there. So it's effectively a, a pond stroke lake from there. Now it's more like a little stream up here. So obviously it's been landscaped, um, just making it even more interesting. We've got, we're going to continue up there and take you onto this bridge. This is the first bridge over the River Lyde. There is, because when we get to there we're going to walk around the end of the source. So the source is up there in that pond. Comes down here, underneath my feet. And down out into the, into the river. So we'll take you up here. We have the main pond at the very top of the garden. I'm sure I have come in the summer, there wasn't as much duckweed on. That is a pond, that's not a piece of grass. So if you ever come here, don't go walking onto that. I'm, I'm sure I have seen fish in here as well. It's really damp. See how damp it is here? Um, must be that all of the water for the river lie just all comes out the chalk all around here. So. Um, this is where the river Lyde starts and flows down, down into beyond and out to River Thames. So, um, from the the Lyde Garden, I hope you enjoyed this video and this little walk around Bedlow. Once again, thank you very much for 2,000 subscribers. Really appreciate that. I've just noticed another. There's a stream there that seems to just come out from under the path. Um, and it flows along down under this path and into the main river there. So yeah, there's streams everywhere here. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much to all of you who got me to 2,000 subscribers. I'm really pleased to have got to that milestone. Um, thank you very much for watching. And, you know, if you're out this way, if you say been on Chilham Pritchard Ridge Railway, why not come have a pint in the Lions of Bledlow afterwards and come and visit this garden for yourself. It's um, a really lovely place. So from the Lye Garden, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.